You're my man, I'm from the Bronx. I came up like you did, but we not gonna do the bloggers is broke. Let's talk. I'm a real get money nigga. You know how they treat you when you got a platinum American Express? Huh? Shit, I used to wholesale weed. <laughs> now I just let my cards open doors like hotel keys. I'm a rip. Where do I where do I start? Come on, goods. Come, come on, man. I got the cup too, you know what I'm saying? I do the cup like you. Hold on. Uh salute to the subscribers that notification gang. Etc. Etc. Don't let none of this get too far ahead of you. So, goods, the animal. Salute to goods. First and foremost, nothing about this blog will be like super disrespectful, but definitely gotta address the comment that goods made. You know what I'm saying? Talking about bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Saying the bloggers is broke. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta blog every day to get money and shit like that. Come in and talk shit for a little while. It's dark now. Y'all can't see me. I'm about to get off. You know what I'm saying? For the uh. Oh no, and I hold on, man. And then I see, I saw a couple of bloggers talking shit. You know what I'm saying? So somebody asked me, was I gonna respond? Respond to a broke blogger? Are you out of to a nigga that blogs to get money? I'm gonna respond to him. Don't you know, like, if, if I wanted to take over the blogging shit right now, I could. I could sit there and make a whole bunch of YouTube money. I don't have the time to though. I can I can blog about everything and put up videos and make more money than. Than, than 98% of the bloggers Would I respond to a blogger? No, I'm never going to And on top of that, you gotta understand man, Everybody has an opinion let, let people have their opinion That's how it's supposed to be This world don't turn if people don't have an opinion You know what I'm saying? But you could do this though Oh, hold on I got, a, I, I got one more other story for y'all Right before I walked on stage to Battle Easy, right? The people that, that set your mic up They was putting the mic on me They said, you gotta take your chain off I said, why well, I got to take my chain off? They said, because it's going to make noise on the mic. I said, nah, m my chain ain't them battle rap niggas chains. That's them hollow shit. My shit don't move. I don't think y'all know, but them niggas y'all be putting the mics on that got those chains. Them shits is hollow. They move around. This ain't that chain. This don't move. Don't worry about it. This heavy. It's going to stay right there. And you know what happened? I kept my chain on and wrapped the whole battle and it ain't touched the mic at all. Know what I'm saying? Look, I got to... Look, look. Here go a hater. Let me, I'm going to shout him out too. Hold on. His name is... Th That's not the case, right? So, I'm going to be... I'm going to just talk from my perspective, right? Like bloggers that do big views, like big, big, big views, you can, you know, you know them. I don't have to get into every single name, right? Yes, they make money. They probably make more than any battle rapper that's not a top tier. That's not like in your bracket, yes, you get bread, uh, Hitman, uh, Lux, you know, Calico, Charlie Clips, Rock, all them niggas that's up there like that. Yes, they make more than bloggers. But everybody that's below that, like that's on these mid-level cards and all that shit like that they don't make more than bloggers do right so let me tell you this right goods if every blogger said you won versus easy to block captain you wouldn't feel this way if every blogger said that you bodied easy to block captain you wouldn't feel this way if every blogger said that easy should have never been on stage with you and you cleared him you wouldn't feel this way but you feel this way because the bloggers feel like you didn't win the battle right and and you know you've had a long winning career like goods has been winning for years and years should, should i take my chain out just because should i take my chain out it's real too should i think now nah, i'm gonna put my chain like it don't even matter i'm in the crib you know what i'm saying but these things like theoretically the things that you talk about do not equate to being rich like Having a car or having a chain, like we've all done, like, like niggas have done that. Like we've done cars, we've done chains, we've done watches, we've done rings. And I watched Chad Ochocinco, who's richer than all of us, say that he don't even wear real jewelry. But my grandfather was extremely cheap. 
for some reason. And so those, those values and me watching him over the years, for some reason, it was already in me. So once money came, you know, I'm always preaching about being cheap with the jewelry and the watches. I know I talked to you before about never really buying anything real. Everything was always replica. Nothing was ever real. As far Seriously. as, yeah, yeah, always, always. Like small example, people would always ask, uh, even current athletes today, like, is it serious some of the stuff that I've seen documented? Is it true that you bought everything replica and it wasn't real? I say, yeah, there was no point because the women have already done their Googles. Yeah, so yeah. there's really no need and there's nobody to impress. <laughs> I can get the same, like, uh, hard knocks, where yeah. I got my earrings from. From Claire's. Yeah, I remember that. With a black card. And the whole message was, I'm still rich, I'm still me, I don't really need it. Who am I trying to impress? Yeah. Because he would rather buy a $100 replica or a $200, $300 replica of an AP or of a Rolex because when you got money, they think that the shit that you got is real anyway. That's first and foremost, right? And this is a multi-millionaire that's stating this, right? So that type of stuff, it really doesn't mean nothing. Like the chains and the watches and all of that, it's cool, but you could lose that in a blink of an eye. How many rappers do we see get robbed, get their chain snatched, get their they watch took or something like that? It happens all the time. Every time you walk out the house with that type of stuff, and I'm not talking about goods, I'm talking about in general. When you walk out the house with this type of stuff, you are putting yourself at risk. There was a young boy that was in the Bronx not too long ago, uh, Money Gang Vante. I forgot, I think that was his name. He came out there, he had a big old chain on trying to floss, got shot and killed for that same chain. On a shooting at a Bronx pharmacy that killed a drill rapper from Los Angeles, the NYPD released videos of the suspect wanted in connection with that shooting. It happened Thursday afternoon inside the amazing pharmacy in East Tremont. The victim, Avanti Frowner, was with his friend who survived. He told police the suspects robbed them of cash and gold chains. The victim was followed into the pharmacy where he was shot multiple times. Frowner was in town to film a rap video on June 21st. And I can tell you many other instances. Stack bundles, when he got died, died, they took his chain. So these are hood signs of, uh, of, being, of having money or having wealth. But having wealth, you know, it doesn't really equate to a, a materialistic thing. You know what I'm saying? Like houses, you know what I'm saying? Like I have two houses, actually three. I just sold one. I had a house in Georgia. I sold it. Uh, I have another house, you know what I'm saying? And my house right now is 5,000 square feet. Do you think that you're broke, like how many people do you think can afford a 5,000 square foot house and I'm the only one that works in my house. I'm, my family don't have to work, you know what I'm saying? That's wealth to me. Telling your moms or your grandmoms that they don't have to work anymore or, or putting your family, that's wealth, you know what I'm saying? That, like this materialistic thing, it's not, does not equate to wealth, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always say this, that facts are enemies of the truth because the truth is, you know, when you look at the app, the app has you losing to Easy to Block Captain about 500 votes to almost 2,000 for Easy. They have you losing every single round in the app votes. Like the, every single round has Easy to Block Captain winning. So when you don't, like, like th there's a thing, right? And I say this all the time when it comes to the battle rappers, and I'm gonna get back to this in a second, but when like you, when you guys, the battle rappers, attack like the media or the bloggers, it's kind of like putting hand sanitizer on your hands and then realizing that you have a cut. Because at the end of the day, they're gonna have the last laugh. Like when you make yourself like, like I'm glad, I'm so glad that even in the clip that I'm gonna play, he didn't mention anybody particular because when you do that, you make enemies. And when you make enemies, that have to cover your career, they get a vendetta against you and they'll either not cover you, not give you, if a battle is 1-1 going into the third and the third is kind of close, if you disrespected somebody, a nigga just gonna say you lost. Not me, you know what I'm saying? I don't have an issue with goods and I don't think, I don't feel like, and I don't feel like he was talking to me per se, but I'm a blogger and I have a name. When you mention whoever's the top niggas in the world, I'm probably gonna be one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of whether I like you, you like me, we don't have to get along, but the numbers, I got 30 million views. There's battle, a lot of battle rappers that don't have 30 million views. So we do the same views, 30, 40, 50 million views, right? I have to find something to talk about as far as like talking down on a person. It's like the money, like the, I get it, the money shit, you can talk that with a battle rapper, the money, the money, the money. That's cool, but when you try to go at bloggers, they're gonna be the ones that's gonna cover your career. Not just me, it's a bunch of them. It's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bloggers that's gonna cover your career. Now, when it comes to battle rap and blogging and money, I have 
one, two, three. I got like three or four, four sources of income. Blogging is the least. Like, it is the least. It's the least. I like, the money is cool, but we don't do it for specific. Like, I'm not a nigga that has to sit on camera just because I need to get money. If I never blogged again, trust me, I wouldn't be homeless. I wouldn't miss a meal, nor would my kids miss a meal. You know what I'm saying? I can easily say I got three cars parked outside right now because I do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to take my camera out there and show you all my cars. And, for what? It doesn't mean anything. At the end of the day, all this shit is materialistic. You know what I'm saying? I got three whips. It's battle rap. I know there's battle rapping niggas that don't got no three whips. And I own my shit. I own my house. I own my cars. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this shit is materialistic. Right? So... He, he goes out there, he makes a statement uh, saying, you know, the bloggers, you know what I'm saying, niggas got his, he, he could take over the blogging game and make more money than 98% of the rappers. Okay. I mean, he said he could take over the blogging game and make more money than 98% of the bloggers, right? So that leaves maybe 2%. I'm sure I probably wouldn't be in that 2%. You could make more money than anybody, probably me included, because, you know, you could do views. You get, you know what I'm saying? You can get Charlie Clips on your shit. You can get fucking Hitman Holler. You can get Conceited. You can get everybody that niggas can't get. But trust and believe, you're not going to break down battles better than me. You're not going to recap. It's not going to happen. Like, if you could, you would do it already. And I don't need guests. I had one guest on this joint. Bill Collector, almost two years ago. Showtime SP is a co-host. I don't have no guests. How many niggas you know that can sit in front of a camera? No guests. No lead cosigns, no big battlers, no nothing, just me and a backdrop and do 20, 30, 40, 50,000 views on a recap. There's not many. Trust me, it don't work like that. These niggas ain't watching these niggas. Standing next to each other, why? Right? Because the track is only this big. There's only mm. so far you could go on a track. Mm -hmm. I might be standing next to you, but I'm around you 20 times. Yeah. You've been left a lot of times, my nigga. Nigga, I don't. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody that's doing their thing, but they're not just gonna turn on the camera unless you got Sue Surf on, unless you got a name with you. I don't got no name with me. When you cut this camera on, you're never gonna see a battle rapper up here. Damn near never. Maybe once. You know why? Because my studio is in my crib. I'm not bringing all these niggas to. I don't bring niggas to my crib. That's the reason why I don't do guests. So anyway, um, I rock with goods. You know what I'm saying? I always have. I got a lot of respect for him. I'm from the Bronx like him. I just feel like he lashed out because everybody, like, this is a feeling that he's not used to after a battle. Like, most of the time, it either be debatable or he won or whatever the case may be. But this is, like, the first time in an illustrious career. You sound like LeBron. Like, when LeBron didn't win the championship with the Heat, the, I mean, the first year against Dallas when he was like, you know, y'all got to go back to y'all regular lives and y'all can have fun. with Bro, don't. I <laughs> knew that so many people are happy to see you fail. Absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, um, all the people that was rooting on me to fail, um, you know, at the end of the day, they got to wake up tomorrow, have the same life that they had um, before they woke up today. You know, they got the same personal problems that they had today. You know, and I'm going to continue to live the way I want to live and continue to do the things that I want to do uh, with me and my family and be happy with that. So, um, you know, they can get a few days or a few months or whatever the case may be on uh, being happy about um, not only myself, um, but the Miami Heat not accomplishing their goal, but you know, they gotta get back to the real world at some point. I'm telling you right now, bro, do not make enemies with the media. Not me, because I don't have a problem. Like, it, with, with, I'm just speaking because when you say bloggers, you know what I'm saying, my name is gonna pop up in there. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's in the beginning or the end, like it's gonna pop up. Niggas are sending me the clip, people are saying that, you know, look at this, look at this, and I looked at it, and I didn't feel no way about it, because like I said, at the end of the day, most of these niggas, ma imagine this, just imagine this, right? You can make the same or more than battle rappers without ever rapping. It's a hobby, bro. It's a hobby and it's an opinion. It's battle rap. It's just an opinion. I could feel like a nigga won. I could feel like a nigga lost. I could easily say, yo, I felt like Goods won the battle. Yeah, niggas is going to tear is going to go in on me saying that, yo, you bugging, yada, 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 you ain't, you ain't see the battle. What is you watching? They're going to do that. But at the same time, you know, your credibility is going to be on the line when you say shit like that. You know, Rock is one of my mans. I really, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know me and him, we go back history, you know what I mean? But 
If he didn't win a battle, I felt like he didn't win a battle. I'm going to say that. I will never. Don't matter who it is. Don't matter the MC. Danny's my man. I just spoke to Danny last night. He is the one where I got in, I feel like, because he was losing battles, taking mad battles, and getting smoked and shit. He got smoked. That was for Danny. But I could still call him to this day and have real conversations about whether it's life, battle rap, etc., etc., because he don't let this shit get him emotional. You're looking, you got emotional about this. I'm not going to hold you. And it's just because people feel like you didn't win versus Easy to Block Captain. Okay, you didn't win versus Easy to Block Captain. So what? All right, give me surf. I see him in, in on Summer Madness. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to be clipping up for the next joint, bro. Yes, we know who you are. We know you got money. We know you got sneakers. We know you got cologne. That's great, bro. That's great. Great things that you are doing for yourself, your family, and your community. But at the same time, you do not have to shoot someone else's lights out just to shine, bro. That's the main, you don't have to shoot nobody else's lights out. You don't have to dim somebody else's light just for you to shine. You know what I'm saying? Just because niggas feel like you didn't win a battle, bro. It's not that serious. I promise you it's not that serious. No. You know? I had to start the video. Yo, I got a house. Yo, I got cars. Do you think people watch me for that? They don't give a fuck about my, my cars or my house or my job. They don't care about that. They tune in specifically to watch you talk about battle rap or to watch rap. Yo, there's a lot of people out there that's not in the best of situations. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas is out there grinding, trying to get it, looking for jobs, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're trying to find ways to pay their bills and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I've met many of people that have been struggling and you know, they ask for shit like that and I look out, but it's like, that's not what it's here for. We are blessed. When you are blessed, you become a blessing. If you make it so much bread and you could take over YouTube, do some financial literacy classes. Show niggas how to get their credit together. Show niggas how to start a business. Show niggas how to get an LLC. Show niggas how to get their business license. Show niggas, like show, show people stuff. What, what good is it for you to eat and never give any advice to anyone else? You the only one that's gonna eat? You're like, you've been eating long enough now. Stop being greedy, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? We know you getting money, bro. We know you getting money, my nigga. We know, we see the cars, we see the jewelry, we see the, you know what I'm saying, you're doing your thing, bro. But we say the bloggers is broke, and I don't know specifically who he was talking about, and I don't really feel like I ever talked shit like about goods. I only recap the battles, but like I said, I am a blogger, and when I see this kind of talk, it's like, bro, like, no, no, no. If you, if he battled easy to block captain, people felt like he lost and he didn't say nothing else about it and just say, yo, shout out to that young man. He did his thing. However y'all feel is how y'all feel. I'll see y'all niggas at the next battle. Nobody will have no issue with it. I promise. But when you tell people like you feel like you won, it's like, bro, like when, <laughs> how? Dad has you down <laughs> 500 to 2,000. These niggas, you think 2,000 niggas is going to jump online just to hate on you? Bro, it don't work like that. So I'm saying, you know, you've always been doing your thing. You're a legendary character in battle rap. You've been on for a minute, but don't make enemies is all I'm saying. Because when you make enemies, it's hard to unmake them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say that I still want to see you versus Surf. I still want to see you continue to do your thing. You know what I'm saying? You got the slick walks and all that. You do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But when you lash out, it's kind of like, bro, you, you literally are putting hand sanitizer on your hands, not realizing that you got a paper cut. That's all I'm saying. Niggas got money, niggas got houses, niggas got cars, niggas got jewelry, niggas got everything that you got. You know what I'm saying? We might, I might not have, you know what I'm saying, a million dollars like you, but trust and believe, we not missing no meals around here. My nigga, we, my family don't miss no meals. You know what I'm saying? Niggas go on vacation, I'm going on vacation next month. You know what I'm saying? I got a flight coming up in a couple weeks. I'm going, like, nigga, we good. Please don't believe that niggas is hurting. I just don't want you to believe that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got five figures. Niggas got six figures too, bro. Just because we don't have to battle or, you know what I'm saying, shit like that don't mean that niggas is not relevant and not important. And there's nothing one battle rapper could say to make anybody stop watching anybody. These people are fans of their media. There's mad media channels. Salute, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, all these media do their thing. You can name them. It doesn't matter. I ain't personally worrying about beefing or none of that shit with none of these niggas. Because they all doing their thing and I know how hard it is to be consistent. And then he made the comment about blogging every day. I don't really blog every single day, and especially not no more because I found another venture. You know what I'm saying? I retired from my job. I found something else that wanted to pay me five, six figures. So I'm there getting that money too. This is the least form of bread that I make. I promise you it is. I promise. And it's not bad, but it's the least. 
Just saying. This ain't a nigga only way to get money. If it's, if it's somebody's only way to get money, and even if it is, if it's somebody's only job and the only thing that they could do is blog, and they blog 10 times a day or five times a day, that's their business, you know what I'm saying? I don't get that opportunity because, like I said, I don't be home a lot. I be on the road. I got to get to the bread, but it is what it is, bro. But I'm just saying, my nigga, money ain't everything. Like, it really ain't. And it's not going to make a nigga say you won a battle that you did. Other than that, man, stay up. You know, I still fucks with you. You're still a homie. But, uh, yeah, that's it. that statement was wrong, my nigga. And if bloggers are broke, it ain't this one. Gang. I feel like Butterfly gonna recap this and say, God, he caught a 30 on the dime, bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Gang. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51.